Hey guys, <clears throat> got a flat the other day while we were riding and uh, thought I'd put together a little video of uh, how I change a tire and uh, well we're going to change a tube today but uh, it's pretty easy, lots of guys will uh, just say oh god no I can't do it and they take it off to the shop and wait a couple days or whatever. If you're fortunate, you know, you can have it done real, real fast, but um, honestly, it isn't really that bad, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to show you how, okay? So, give me just a moment. Alright, so we're going to loosen up the rim lock here. that you can push it in. That means it's free, right? Um, I don't usually like tighten up the nut on the valve stem. Um, so I can just zip this right off here. And then put that right here. Sometimes uh, the bead just pops off. Um, I don't even know what kind of tire arms these. I've had them for like many years. Uh, they got some real tough plastic handles on them and they have this uh, nice little spoon shape uh, on the end of it. And I've never bent them or nothing, you know. I only change tires with them, but I mean... They're pretty darn tough. So that's all it really takes to like knock the bead off. And then what I like to do is uh, put a little loop down there. Start pulling it off, man. So. Sometimes it gets a little difficult. So. Get your irons out. That's why I wear gloves. You want to like rake your hand against the, uh, the sprocket there. This stand that I'm using is all it is is a five gallon bucket. And it's got a little piece of garden hose that I slit down the center of it. Wrapped it around there. It's just a uh, just enough to get it off the ground, so I'm not like working on the floor. Although I used to do that, and it uh, I mean, it's not that bad. <clears throat> so I got one side off. drop there so pretty straightforward stuff. Let's move down in there again.
makes it easiest is when you do lube it. Otherwise, it's got dry rubber rubbing on your rim, and like, you know, it like makes a lot of friction. Careful when you get over that. Rim lock. You want to go pry it. So it's like, sort of off. This one. Take it and go like this. And you see how it just like dropped down away from the rim? So this is our new uh, spare tube. You can see it's like still got quite a bit of air in it, which is fine. I mean, uh, I usually like to have a little air in there, and anyway. it keeps it from like folding. And so all I do is just start to squeeze it, stuff it. side to start with. I usually put the rotor down just so I don't bend it. sort of like pull it out a little, just enough so it's easy to like slide through the rim and then put the nut on just enough so it doesn't you know pull the stem back out try and get it lined up so what we're working on is we're going to be working on the far side B here and
you can sort of work it so that it's about halfway on without even picking up your irons. And so where's my irons? Y'all see my irons? Where's the tiger irons? Here we go. <clears throat> so, one of the things you want to make sure you don't is, uh, is pinch the tube. So, you want to be careful that it's like out of the way when you start prying on this tire. doing is sliding the iron it just popped out I'm just sliding the iron along on the rim <clears throat> Pirelli scorpions are stiff trying to take too much of a bite here, I guess. Okay, one side's on. However, what you have to do here is, you can see it's like, here's the rim lock, and it's sitting on the wrong side of the rim lock. So let me see if I can show you what I do. You can stick your tire iron on one side, on the other side, Right. You'll be able to walk it over onto the side and then beyond the rim, push the rim lock up and then pull your irons out and make sure that the rim lock goes up and down and now the rim lock is actually um, inside the tire here where it's supposed to be, right? Back down on the stand here. Now, everybody does it their own way. I usually like to start with the uh, rim lock at the three, and I start at the six. And so, just stick a couple tire irons in here, about four or five inches.
try and keep it down in the drop center. <clears throat> start over at the bead buddy and work my way toward the rim lock. Pulling the tire off the beam, then push the rim lock in, and that gets it down in there. And that's all there is to it. Pull the stem up, put some more threads on the uh, nut, and then uh, see if I can. Reach the Start the air compressor. It's not seated over here yet. But you all get the idea. How long did that take? 15 minutes maybe? Pretty easy. The, the key I think really is like B Buddy and a couple good irons um, and some lubrication. And you can strip a tire and put a new one on in like no time. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions, comments. And uh, happy modeling. See ya.